Alright guys, so I just came to pick up some filters for uh, my fish tank at home. And I was thinking I wanted a little fish tank for my uh, my dorm, like just on my desk at my dorm. I was thinking maybe like a small box like this, a bit larger obviously, but something like that. And uh, like they have, ooh, fish bowls. I don't like fish bowls. 1.5 gallon fish tank, uh, yeah, sure. Um, I don't know, wasn't sure about that. So what me and my buddy got is this drink drink dispenser and well we were just passing by because I, I came to the store like oh I want a container and easy what, what, what did you say water changes were easy mm -hmm. so easy water changes sealable lid you could drill a hole for your thing I'm not gonna I'm just gonna take the lid off I'm actually not planning on having aerators I'm gonna keep a plant uh, plants in there and then like a just like one or two guppies nothing much so yeah uh, I'm not how many gallons is that it's like one and a half. That was one and a half gallons, so it looks good. So we noticed Marcus says fish tank is 10 gallons low in water. So we're just gonna, we got a water change bucket, some treated water. We're gonna take out a little more water and do a water change. While Alex watches Big Time Rush movie. Yeah. Ah, silly Marcus. That was never monetized in the first place. Are you sponsored by Google? No. That was, that was a jest. I even oh, said it in the video. Gotcha. Alright, so we got all the stickers and stuff off. Got that out. Stickers already got thrown out. Um, so all that's left to do is just wash it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to wash the inside. There's some sticker residue and on the bottom. And afterwards, I'll talk about what mason jars, I'm going to call this a mason jar, what mason jars they had and why I picked this one. What I'm going to do is just fill this up with some water. Uh, best way to do that might just be to use uh, the coffee pitcher. Drop the soap. I mean, we're going to be rinsing this out, so. I'm going to fill it up all the way. Hot water. Really hot dorm water. I don't live here, so I don't have to complain. And come over here. And just try to fill this up and get a huge mess all over the counter. That's not yours. Put in a decent amount. What I'm going to do is just probably scrub it. I'm going to fill this up just to have some, I don't know, water for the outside. So what I'm just going to do is scrub down the inside like that, and that'll just kind of make sure there's nothing on the inside. So just want to make sure this is really clean so we don't kill any fish or plants that we put in. So I just got done scrubbing the inside. Um, as you can see, it's a little more clear. I mean, it's fogging back over because it's hot water. But I'm just going to go over the outside, just the entire outside. It doesn't matter that the counter's wet, so <laughs> might as well get it worse. So what I did here is I just got a little bit of water, soaked it in, then... Squeeze it back out because this is still full of moisture. Then just wipe down the sides like that. Come up here, wipe everything down. This has an abrasive pad, but I mean, sponge kind of helps, especially because it holds water. So I'm going to wipe everything down. I already went over it once, so I'm not really scared of missing any spots. Um, I want to pay special attention to this. Maybe go back over it with a... Um, with a rag after you're done so that way it doesn't have any water spots or ugly marks just because I mean it is chrome it's plastic but it has a chrome finish so makes it look nice um so yeah oh I need to clean the lid that's another thing maybe the, this clean that that so yeah so what I'm going to do now and what I've already started doing fill this up with water and done Pour some of it out and it's really hot so it kind of hurts. Take it over here. Pour it in. Eee. Freak out because you're about to break a coffee pitcher that isn't yours. Ow, that's really hot. Fill that up with water, just a decent amount. Put that back. Gonna close this lid up. Just lock it. Oh, it's gonna be heavy. Pick it up, bring it over here. And just drain it out through that. That'll be a good easy way to clean out this thing. 
so that'll let that drain out. Marcus is already letting it drain out, but just sitting over there not doing anything. Um, and then the other thing I forgot to clean is underneath the thing where that sticker was. Oh, it's slowing down, but there's still water left, so I'm just going to... What was that sound? The sound of progress, my friend. So I just clean off the bottom after I finish draining it. Now what I'm going to do, carefully pick it up, go over to the bathroom, fill it, fill it up with normal water to make sure all that soap's rinsed out. In the event that you got clogged freaking shower pipe syndrome, crappy plumbing, what you do, come back over to the kitchen sink, open this up. Try desperately to make this thing fit, but you know it's not going to fit. And you just fill it up with normal water and just rinse it out. Bad boy right here. Whoosh. Call that one magic. Oh, I forgot that's really hot. Ouch, 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 ouch. Don't, don't do that. That was dumb. So, grab the water. Full send, otherwise it's not going to work. Pour that in, grab some more water, I thought that was cool, a little, a little magic, get the water full, pour out some, and I'm going to fill it up, making sure to get the counters as wet as possible. Hey Marcus, this water is just going to evaporate, so I think it's alright. Alright, good, we got the approval. Um, set that there to dry because it's not actually dirty. What I'm going to do is just close this up and shake it so that way all, all the water mixes around and make sure there's no soap anywhere. Really easy to clean, honestly. A little hard because I mean I'm doing it one handed, but yeah. So just going to shake this, uh, pick it up. Just emptied it. We're going to let it cool down. Alright, so oops, just that. Yeah, there we go. So now we got gravel. Uh, pre-washed already we washed it to put it in that tank it was really filthy remember that um, and the bathtub looked awful okay so you want to go ahead and pour that in or do whatever stupid in So we're going right to just pouring the whole thing in. I don't want all that debris in there, though. Huh? What debris? All the. Oh, okay. So it's up to you. Scoop it. We have an escapee. All over the floor full of water. So let me do my part in helping. Thank Besides, you. I cleaned out the whole damn thing. <laughs> Might as well use all of it, because it is sloping right now down. There's not a whole lot left. Yeah. That's where it's at right now. Another escapee. That's what I was thinking. Is we should. We could put a filter or something there. A yeah. little bigger, big rock. A little piece of mesh. That's what I was thinking. Good that we've got a good yeah. half inch or so. Yeah, so that's a lot more than I was expecting it to cover. So that'll that'll turn out fine. Now, uh, do you want to add the water? Yippers. So I just wanted to take this time to talk about the type of 
mason jar sort of pitcher you should use. Um, on my pitcher, only one side actually has text. There was a slightly smaller pitcher that had text on both sides. I considered that one, however, it had text on both sides, so obviously you wouldn't be able to see fish from two of the sides as opposed to just one if it was backing a wall. So that's why I went with the one that you see in the video. However, the smaller one would have been nice uh, if you just have a small office desk. So it's honestly up to um, each sort of usage and where you're going to place it. However, do keep in mind that you're going to want to have as few obstructions because the corners of the mason jars sort of warp how the, the light comes through and so you can't really see the fish on the corners. So one of the benefits is that it's got a carrying handle so if you and your fish want to go on a vacation you can. <laughs> There's no fish in here right now I'm just taking it back to my dorm and then maybe tomorrow we'll get some fish in maybe the next day it's gonna be really cool. Who knows? So I just finished up the fish tank today. What I have done is went ahead and purchased some moss rock at PetSmart. Got two, put them in, and I've got a guppy. He just actually came here about an hour ago. Actually, it's about two hours ago now. A little bottom feeding catfish, and let me try to find them. Actually, he's right here. Ghost shrimp. I got three of them. So that's cool. Kind of hard to see. So yeah, uh, hopefully the moss rock are enough for this tank. If not, I'll uh, add in some more plants. I've got bubbler just in case, but they seem to be doing all right. Um, I got a light shining on it. This is just an LED one until I can find a better one. It's just a lamp. I mean, we haven't been using it. So, oh, and then, then we've got all this shade in here, or all this sunlight. Um, we're on the north side, but we still get a lot of sunlight coming in because we this is open 24-7. So we'll be getting a lot of nice light in here. That guppy just absolutely loves loving it in there. Um, in terms of temperature, I mean, it's, it's a little cold, but what I might do is put in a little heater, but it kind of ruins the simplicity, but <clears throat> overall, I think it looks, looks very beautiful. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed this and, uh, I'll see you in the next video.